she bought a Bentley. So I would like a Bentley. I mean, no one's going to pay yeah. for me. I, Erica, she might maybe go on OnlyFans. Really? I'm not trying to be funny. OnlyFans are like, you do like, like soft porn or do you date people or how does it work? Um, you do soft. So like it's a, you pay. So like say that like you were on OnlyFans, it's literally how it sounds. It's a, listen, why these things keep existing in the world and you and I don't think of these things is beyond me. Because who would have thought it's literally only fans to so say like you are on it, whatever your price is. Some people are six ninety nine, some people are 20, but you can't see anything unless they pay. And it's not even necessarily softcore porn. It's pretty much it could be just straight out porn, straight out porn. So the porn industry, like mark my words, will be done soon. Like this is just like your average person who can't get a contract can do this. So is like, is a girl that's on OnlyFans, does she have a guy with her or another girl with her? Is like she in an act or is it just like, it's like a peep show. Like she's like got, you know, like a vibrator and she does something for 30 seconds or a minute. Like, how does it work? All of the above, honey. There okay. could be pictures. There could be oh. solos. There could be vibrators. There could be a full on like orgy. There, whatever you want to put on your OnlyFans. Oh, you could have full on sex. It's literally like, you know, I guess back in the day, if you want. Someone's going to charge $699. How much time do they get of this? I, I mean, uh, all the ones that I've seen are way less than that. And I mean, you get like, you don't get like a three hour, but I mean, it, once you get it for the month, you mm -hmm. get everything. So say it's $999, you can look at every back video for that particular person and then if you don't want to continue the next month you don't but not live though it's not live no i don't think you can even do it live maybe you could that i don't know but it's oh. videos but i mean your video oh. could be five minutes or it could be an hour and that's up to you what prevents someone from taping it and like having it and owning it then or not like i know you can't legally do that but what if someone like, I'm going to save this for myself later on tonight. What would well, prevent I am that? sure there are people listening to this that can answer that. Now I have to say, if you're on Snapchat, like I'm not really a Snapchat person, but I've, if you're on Snapchat and you try to record something, it won't let you, if you physically, like you try it and it won't let you. So I'm assuming there's something in, in OnlyFans. I'm sure these listeners could answer where you but can't I record it. Now in like be holding a phone videotaping us talking you could have a phone and videotape your only fans viewing right what do you mean well like your phones you can record what you're looking at on your phone with another phone you, um, well that's true i haven't thought of that right because you can do screen record like on Snapchat, you can't do screen record, but yes, I guess if you have a different phone sure. and you probably, probably, I mean, I never thought of that, but sure. I, I don't see why that wouldn't work. iPad and record it with your cell phone while you're watching it on your iPad. Okay. All of this is true. I just think like, if you're addicted to the, the person that you're following, you still want the new content. So you'll still pay the, the $9.99, but sure. You could probably do that. I never thought of it that way, but yes. Listen, Catherine, you need to think of the next OnlyFans because it's a brilliant idea. And the thing is, like, think about it. Like, you know, all these people out there that, you know, would have to audition for a porn and this. Now there's none of that. You literally are like, I am a porn star today. And Only we're yeah. How much does OnlyFans get? Like, what's their take on it? That I don't know. But I mm. imagine that it's like Cameo, like I'm on Cameo and I think, they get like 25%. Like it's, I bet you only fans and the person it's like a win-win. Like to me, I would lock myself in this apartment and do cameos all day. If people would book I'm me. Like, if anyone wants me to shout out on cameo, I'm happy to do it. I guarantee you that my price is cheaper than yours on, on cameo. Oh, I'm, I'm 50 bucks. I'm $10. So. Oh, wow. Okay. You're better than me. Cause here's my thing. If you're, if I'm not booked all day, then it's going to stay $10. The day I'm like, I'm so overwhelmed and too busy to do this. It's going to be raised. 
we're not there yet, but people do, people book me. My last booking was a lovely woman named Samira or something for someone's birthday or someone's having a baby. It's fun. I got to ask a bridesmaid or ask for a bride, her best friend asked her to be a bridesmaid in the wedding. That was kind of cool. But you see, I have to like kind of fix myself a little bit. I can't roll out of bed and just do it. I have to look semi cute. That's a hard thing for me. <laughs> Honey, I apologize to all of the people that have seen me on. Listen, I mean, I don't like, I, I don't have a Donnie here. So there's no one holding the phone. It's like, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I, I put the phone down and I'm like, and mind you, <laughs> as easy as it is to do, it's like, I wait days and days. It's like, you know, when it says to you, you have 24 hours, you're going to lose this money. I'm like, shit, I got to do all this shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to donate all of mine to uh, the Veterans Foundation. That's very nice of you. I don't take mine out. I have a weird thing where like when I do things, I just let the money accumulate. And then one day I'm going to take it out kind of like American Express points. Yeah. Like $1 million. So it's like with my patron, it's all, it all adds up. And I'm just like, I mean, until I need it, I'm just letting it sit there. So sometimes I'm like, oh, wow, I'm doing good on. Wait, going back to the reunion, what about when Erica said, you know, that she was spending like, you know, over the 15 years she spent 20, was it 20 million or, or 14, whatever the money was. And she's like, we're all dropping like one or 2 million a season, a year. I have that earmark to discuss. Yes. I don't think they're all dropping 2 million bucks a year. No, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. Some of them, sure. Miss Hilton and Miss Strack and maybe Miss Minkoff. Maybe. Maybe Kyle. Garcelle, I, no. I, but wait, you're saying what? I took it as one to two million on just living her life, like hair, makeup, beauty treatments, clothes, car, whatever she needs. Like that's how much money. Holy cow. I, no. Uh-uh. I would not. Right, like that's the thing. So Andy was like, I, and this. No way. Right, like Andy was like, you spent 14 to 20. And she's like, what the, what the hell is your problem? It was over like 10 years. So it was like $2 million a year that we're all doing that. Doing that here. I was going to ask you this. Like, I mean, you're, you're, in, you're in Beverly Hills. Like that's not, I mean, Kathy Hilton, sure. I'm sure. And, and I will say this. I mean, you know, everyone can whatever it is, like how much is someone's net worth, like celebrity net worth, that stuff is not true. I will tell you that it's, the numbers are off and they're off by sometimes more than double, triple, quadruple off. And I know that, well, I think that I, I know what we have and I know that I have more than some of them. And I can promise you that I don't spend it like that. And I really, really do not believe they do either. That is not smart. And, and those women, for the most part, are, they're smart. So that's like blowing through someone's money because you can. I don't like that. Nope. I don't, I mean, like, are you buying a house? Are you buying an apartment that's, in New York? No, it's right. She's just saying living, it. it's ridiculous. You Remember way back when, when I was saying, you know, you go buy, Shoot, you go buy a Van Cleef and Arpel necklace. You're getting, you know, 25% back if you ever want to sell it. That Cartier ring that Tom bought her for a quarter of a million dollars, she'll be lucky she gets, if she'd ever want to sell it, she could get like, I don't know, maybe 50, 75. I think that's what it goes for. Uh, I would agree with that. Unless it's a limited edition, unless something is like, like Crystal's little Hermes bag, that will hold value because there's only so many of them or whatever. But if a Cartier ring, order it and you have the money to pay for it and they will make it for you again, it is what it is. This is why, I mean, I have like certain watches that probably have held their value, but this is why I don't sell things yet. Like I have a lot of like Gucci and Louis and like all those bags. I'm like one day, maybe, but I'm not, I don't need like 50, 25% on the real, real at this moment That's, in my life. I, I, I mean, I sell stuff on there. If I, you know, if it's 